recorded live in Austin, Texas, USA. It's the William Montgomery Show. Starring William Montgomery and the devious Casey Rocket. With the Tony Chin Orchestra. The William Montgomery Jr. Dancers. As always, William is joined by the lovely Erica. I'm Casey Rocket. And now here he is, the big red machine, the Memphis Strangler, William Montgomery. It was okay. We actually have to get a steam cleaning done at the apartment today because my brother Vance or Selden is coming into town. Is he allergic? Does he tomorrow. allergic to something? Yeah, no, fine. Gator. Steam. Yes, he doesn't. Yes, so we have to get the steam cleaning before he gets here. He's kind of a clean freak. Yeah, it just smells like TT on our couch. <laughs> What? It's TT milk. What's TT? No TT. You didn't ever call it that. Oh, <laughs> good, up? Casey. What do you What do you think TT is? Like horchata. In the same universe. Okay. It's kind of same universe as a horchata. Is it a Hispanic drink? Mexican? Mm, yeah. You could call T-T's. it that. Yeah. Tio's milk. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. TT. You got to bring me some of this TT next um, time. Mm, we could probably. I, we could probably do that today. We could work that out. Yeah, I mean, let me drink a couple more of these. <laughs> no, it's inside of you. It's what comes out of your thing. That's what I like. That's what I like. <laughs> Get some thang. <laughs> yeah. I'll suck on any orifice. Piss mm-hmm. couch. Why does your cow smell like peas? Uh, Gator gets excited when we come in the door. And he pees a little. <laughs> and yeah, little. she runs up on the side thing on the couch and a little tt always dribbles out of her pussy <laughs> <laughs> it's always dripping out when so she urine. says this yes urine okay maybe it's a wanna, southern thing i, I don't, don't want to drink it anymore yeah no it's a southern thing yeah it's probably a southern thing calling it tt because you're you? from what california i'm a southern california boy surfer boy shred nar nar socal yes surfer boy. that's what, up, what i remember yes. yeah yeah socal daily but I don't talk like that. I talk like a normal <laughs> intellectual, I'd say. Yes, you do. But you I am dumb. Good. No, you're not. Yeah. You're one Thank of the you. smartest guys I've ever met. I just met you. You're so smart. Thank you, man. Nice to meet yeah, you. Yeah, I mean. Good to meet you. I actually met you. might not remember. I met you the night you were recording your special. I was in the green room at um Creek Oh, okay. <clears throat> I remember. But it was a busy night for you, so I won't yes. be insulted. I was running all. all around. Yeah. Doing the Dutchman's Key. <laughs> busy times. That's where Casey has the key in his mouth. Wait, so what were – hold on. I have to ask. So what were you doing during Casey's uh, recording of his special? What were you doing in the green room? Okay, kind of um, <laughs> a story that isn't a good one, but I was doing a spot at the Sunset Strip, and I forget his name, and I feel bad now, but the guy who runs the Dirty Show at the Creek in the Cave. Adam Lucky. Adam Lucky yeah. was like, do you want to come do the, the spot at the Creek in the Cave? I'm like, sounds good. And then I rolled over into the spot, and then Casey rolled in the green room all disheveled and looked like he had been through a busy night because he recorded two <laughs> specials, or his special. And he's yeah, like, yeah, just, yeah. And everyone was like, congrats, man. You fucking killed it. You were the best. And I was like, who is this guy? <coughs> this is his hero. <laughs> this is my special night. Yeah. <clears throat> and here y'all are now. Yeah, so Casey meet Ari. Ari meet Casey. Pleasure. My pleasure, Ari. You're a legend, I hear. Oh, legend in the game, legend in the Cheats. comedy universe. Yep. Uh, thank you for saying that. Yeah. And cute, I reckon, too. <laughs> Bro, it's quite the cutie. I'm a little mousy. Yeah. I have a good smile, but I have a, a, a good personality. <laughs> <laughs> but mousy in the best of ways, because I yeah. feel like maybe there's some negative connotations. We'll yeah. say, oh, that bitch looks mousy or something. Like, You're right. I, feel like... uh, I like mousy. Yeah. Some, I think it's yeah. just one of those things. It's a preference. Some people like mousy. Some people prefer ratty, maybe. Or what's the alternative? Dog, dog face. Dog, dog face, face, bitch. Yeah. 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 Dog face, bitch. That's one that you <laughs> run away from. In the mm-hmm. grocery store, you see a dog face, bitch. Get the fight. You don't want to start yeah. a conversation with her. Stay away from those pit bull face yeah. mofos. Yeah, They're letting anybody in AGB now. Yeah, they are. I don't know when they started doing that. It used to be like a club in New York City or something. Mm-hmm. It used to be like, you can come in, you can come in. Who True. Are you with? The good no, old days stop. when you were allowed to <laughs> profile people based off their looks. Correct. That's what <laughs> HEB used to historically. That's what they did here in Texas. HEB, for yeah. those of you who are from far away, is a grocery store in Texas. Yep. Yeah. And what's it stand for, William? Um, Harold's. Um, 
Every, every uh, basket. Basket. I was thinking basket before you said it. <laughs> no, uh. I, I was yeah. thinking Harold's, which is really. Weird. Yeah, we're, we're in, in sync. sync. This is going good. <laughs> <laughs> Grant, take a screenshot. Yeah, can you, Grant? <laughs> Grant. Yeah, yeah, I got one. Yeah, Crisis averted. Sometimes we've been saying hello to Grant, and he hasn't been talking back to us because he's doing something else over there. There's no yeah, window. He chatting. could be taking up, uh, you know, a bathroom break, and we wouldn't know. He could be TTing. TTing. We like to keep him on his toes. I want to know that he's listening on every word I'm saying. I keep failing in this. Yeah, I know. Uh, well, you can work on it. I mean, tomorrow's Valentine's Day. Ooh, Happy Valentine's Day. Big plans, Ari? Yeah, actually. Whoa. Uh, I have a girlfriend, which is why I'm in Austin, actually. She lives in Austin. I know. Congratulations. Thank you. I, I nice, haven't man. really talked about this on the internet before, so inside scoop, the big scoop, Uh-oh. I'm taken. Sorry, ladies. I'm <laughs> and how long now. has it been? How long have you all been together? A uh, year and a half, but um, you know, there was some maybe issues earlier on where I kept it a secret, and now <laughs> it's not a secret anymore. I'm uh, happily... Married man. We're not actually married, but taken, taken man. And tomorrow's Valentine's Day, and I'm going to make it really special. I hired a masseuse off of the Soothe app Whoa. that's going to come to the house and give her an hour-long massage. Made sure it's a female masseuse, not having any other men touch my woman. For sure. Yes. Don't want to risk sure. it. Yep. And I plan on waking up early for once, making her breakfast. Maybe what would you make? What are you planning on making tomorrow? Toast with butter, a fake butter, a healthy butter. Margarine? Yeah, some sort of margarine-based butter and some do you scrambled not like, eggs. Act, do you not like real butter? I love real butter, but not? it's bad for your heart. Mm. Well, so is a lot of stuff. Yeah, so tomorrow I'm going to make a healthy scrambled egg whites, toast with a fake butter, <laughs> and maybe some turkey bacon and bring it to her in bed. Mm-hmm. And then be like, surprise, a masseuse is here. Yeah, roll over. She's already in the bed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> And then maybe get some flowers while she's getting the massage. Bring, put some flowers in a vase. And then I think that's enough. I've done enough at that point. You've done a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm thinking that's more yeah. than maybe my ass. Holy shit. That mm-hmm. seems really good. And feel really free good, to steal Ari. that. If you're listening to that and you have a significant other, I'm guessing most of the people listening don't because uh, <laughs> I view them as probably big, big losers. <laughs> Just Grant, kidding. Just kidding. That. Yeah, screenshot. I'm a loser. I'm, I'm saying, this is my first please. girlfriend. So I'm just really, I'm calling everyone else It's your first now. girlfriend. Yeah, so I, and now I think everyone's a loser because they don't have one and I have one loser. <laughs> oh my gosh, so are y'all, yeah, so she's doing well, Casey. She has a house here in Austin. And Uh-oh. Ari, so are you going to move here? I'm I'm keeping my apartment in LA. I know that. So I, so I don't know. At what point do you say you live here? I've been here for a week. <laughs> do I live here now? It's hard to say sometimes. I don't know. But I'm here. So hopefully I could hit up the people and get some stand up comedy going and <laughs> Yeah, you gonna get it all spots up at the mothership? Maybe. I don't know if Adam likes me or not, but I'll I'll get up somewhere. I know that. I'll get up somewhere. You will. You is, will. Is your girl gonna come see you? Does she think you're funny? She thinks I'm funny. She has a lot of social anxiety. She's real. I want you to know that. I promise mm-hmm. she's a real. I saw person. a couple pictures last night or okay. yeah, yeah. some pictures. She's real, but she doesn't like to go out that much. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. But she is real, Casey. I'm not making her up. It's hard to. It's hard to tell. I'd I have promise. to see a picture. Of her. I swear she's real. You should see a picture because I swear, Casey, he was explaining all this to me last <laughs> night. I won't do, give any. I won't divulge any details. But he was explaining this all to me last night. And Casey, I did not believe him. Yeah, it's sounding I did pretty not far-fetched. Believe I'm Ari. not. I called you cute, cute earlier. I'm not gay, and she's a real girl. She's a real woman, and she exists. Breakfast in bed, egg whites, masseuse. It just sounds a little too good to be true. Yeah, walk by the lake, maybe flowers. Yeah, oh, I just that's a good don't idea. know. I like the lake edition. How do you get? How do you get the yellow part out of the eggs? How are you just making egg whites? Oh, it's quite easy. You just um, <laughs> you crack them in a bowl, and then you take a little spoon and you scoop out the yolks. And then you eat the yolks. Mm, I throw them out typically. Eggs okay, are cheap. Okay. You gotta eat them. Yeah, yeah, that'd be the the right thing to do. But it's another bad thing for your heart, right? Yeah, it's bad for your high oh. cholesterol. Runs in my family. Definitely but I thought eggs right. are good cholesterol. The egg white part is. I, uh, some people think that the yolks have more fat in it and can be bad for you. So that's why if you look at a healthy, excuse me, breakfast, 
it'll say egg whites. Mm -hmm. How many eggs are you eating? You gotta be eating a lot of eggs. To three a person. Oh, three each. Okay, yeah. that's pretty typical. Mm -hmm. yeah. If you're feeling not super hungry, maybe you do five and split them in half. Two and a half each. Two and a two point five <laughs> each. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense, yeah. Have you general have you been making a bunch of eggs for this girl? Eggs are about one of the only things I know how to make. So <laughs> if if she's like, I'm hungry, I'm like, You want some scrambled eggs? She's like, You've made that a hundred times. That's what I make. Cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Scrambled Check eggs. The fridge. Yeah. That's all we have. Some guys wouldn't make you anything. I'm making you scrambled eggs. You're welcome. Yeah, she better like it. Does she say thank you at least? Yeah. Is she uh, thankful for stuff? Yeah. Last night cool. I made her a peanut butter and jelly sandy sandwich. Mm. Sandy mm. short for sandwich. Made her that, and she was thankful. <laughs> what, when you got back? Because we were yeah. communicating kind of no, late before, last night. Before. Oh, before. Before I left, yeah. That sounds romantic. Do you cut off the crust? Do you cut it into hearts? I cut it in half. It? Okay. And then I even, you know those cutie tangerines? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I cut one of those in half, too, so I made a plate with a peanut butter and jelly sandwich cut in half and then a little cutie tangerine on the uh, side just for display purposes to add a little color. People uh, need to be taking notes, mm -hmm. I think, right now. Oh, my gosh. You're thinking out there, Ari, you got a girlfriend. How do I get one? Yeah. Well, when you're on a date with a girl, make her a PB&J and put a little tangerine on the side. It's a good start. Bring a cutie to every restaurant you go with her. Or right now, I would honestly recommend, I love cuties, but they have the wonderful sumo tangerine, the sumo, sumo citrus. They're big. <laughs> have y'all ever had those things? <laughs> oh, it sounds awesome. Do you like citrus? Sure. Man, I swear to God, Casey, look up sumo. It's probably at the H-E-B. It's sumo citrus. It has like a real kind of... Kind of scary, almost bumpy outer skin. It has a little is this real nipple looking thing on one of the ends, and you can tear it with your fingers. You can get the skin off with your fingers. Are you familiar with oh, these yeah. things, Grant? They're hideous. That, oh wow! I swear, y'all, they are to die for. They're really juicy. I swear to you, they are wonderful. What's a little knob for? It's a good place. I use that to start peeling the skin away. Okay. It's good to get your fingernails up under there. I want one. They look like they have cancer on them, but I want it. They do, but they the are good kind. so good. Yeah, and they're mm -hmm. only yeah the good kind of cancer. You mm -hmm. can buy a tree for a hundred dollars. You can mm -hmm. a for, sumo tangerine tree. Yeah, shinari mandarin tree from the shinari shinari tribe. <laughs> Sounds Japanese. <laughs> it is. I think Very. they were started in Japan. Mm -hmm. Japan. Kyoto. Yeah. Kyoto. Have you ever been there? <laughs> I I have not. I would love to. You'll go soon, I'm sure. What about you? If you guys are going, I'm going. I haven't been so far, but I'm looking forward to going with my friends. Yeah, I think Hell it yeah. should be a really good time. <laughs> should be great, especially if they have some of those bad boys hooked up already. And Grant, that's a great picture. That's what you're looking at. So Ari, here we're looking at the side view. Of what a sumo. So that top part is not any fruit uh, matter. Hmm. It's literally just the weird skin. Yeah, almost like foreskin. Uh huh. Do you have that? Penis. Uh, it's mine's cut off, but I still have it. It's like yeah. a less than what you're born with, like a locket. Yeah. Oh, you still have it down there. Yeah, I still have some of my foreskin on my penis, <laughs> but less than I was born with. Really? Circumcision. You've heard of it? Yeah, yeah. You guys have it or not? It's a Jewish thing, isn't it? The Jews invented it, but now a lot of people do it. Mm -hmm. Oh, I apologize. Everybody's so doing it. That was so rude. I'm so sorry. Who was that? Was that the foreskin doctor telling you to yeah. shut, shut the hell up? <laughs> yeah. Don't talk about your foreskin on podcasts. You do this every time. <laughs> <laughs> Who was it? It was the studio. I have a podcast studio in Los Angeles, and it was the, someone at the door. I have to open it for them. Oh, my So even goodness. when my phone's on do not disturb, that's the only thing that'll disturb me is saying, hey, you got to open the door for this person. Yeah, wow. I remember doing key bumps up in the bathroom at the studio when I when did your podcast. What, and you didn't tell three me or that four too. years ago. Yeah, I didn't tell you, <laughs> but that's when I was. But I got it on security <laughs> camera, and now I have it as a little blackmail. You never know. Well, I have a little uh, blackmail on you that you have cameras in your bathroom. Oh, You're not shit. allowed to have cameras in the no, bathroom. Shit. Totally illegal. I'm just kidding. Yeah, I'm just kidding. Yeah, there's no way you have cameras in the bathroom. <laughs> I don't. You caught me. <laughs> But Grant does. Y'all have y'all still have cameras in the bathroom here, don't you, Grant? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Whoa. Are you crying? <laughs> yeah. He's crying and called him out. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> yeah, I swear to God. <laughs> yeah, but it's legal here. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Austin's yeah, I think different. 
It's the yeah, te- yeah. Texas laws. Keep Austin weird, they say. <laughs> <laughs> He's a sovereign citizen. Grant declared this building as sort of its own little free state. So, yes. A little fiefdom. fiefdom. Mm, yeah, it's his fiefdom in here. <laughs> was your head dangerously big when your mother was giving birth? My head was too big. Um, and I was actually supposed to be born on Valentine's Day, and I came out early, and thank the Lord I did, because my head was so big, the umbilical cord wrapped around my neck three times, and I came out of my mama a uh, gray <laughs> color, and I wasn't even crying or nothing, because I wasn't breathing, and that's because I had a big head. Yeah, but it doesn't always have to be a curse. As you get older, it can kind of be a blessing to have a big old head. Yeah, a lot of kings over in old England had big heads. Not a lot of people know that, but the uh, way they'd find out who's going to be the next king, a lot of people think, oh, you put the sword in the stone, whoever can get the sword out of the stone, that's going to be the next king of England. Well, at some point in the 1400s, they stopped doing that because mm-hmm. at one point in time when they needed a new king, nobody could get the sword out of the stone. So they started doing it measuring for heads. whoever has the biggest head. So that's how we got King Edward uh, the Third. He had a giant <laughs> head. Um, and all his son had big heads. Uh, yes, it's a genetic thing. And with me, I have an eight-inch head, so it's real genetic. On my dad's side, it was these real beastly men. Uh, so I think I get it, this big head from them. And it's real hard for me to find any kind of hat to, that ever fits my head. <laughs> well, it was hard until now, at least. Yeah, we found, weirdly enough, Casey and I found, we were doing research and we were like, because we both have pretty big heads. Yours yeah. is pretty big, isn't pretty it? Pretty large head. Yeah, as you can see, this little shitty little thing, I hate wearing anything but mammoth, but this thing, I have to have it on the last notch just to get around my scalp. And people notice that when you're walking around in the mall or something, they're like, oh my gosh, why yeah. is he wearing that hat that's too small for his head? He's on the yeah. last notch. So it's about your hair off. too? You have a big head of hair. Yeah. That'll increase your hat size. And then me, I have a normal size head, but I like wearing hats that are too big on me. I like that loose look where they're really big. I like people going, that hat doesn't fit you. And I go, it fits the way I want it to. Leave me alone. Exactly. Yeah. And I think, honestly, for you, Ari, it's a cute look. <laughs> Thank I think you. It's a sweet look. Mm-hmm. It's almost like a little boy got into his papa's yeah, closet slimming. and <laughs> yeah. got a hat. Totally. It's slimming. <laughs> so if you're like self-conscious about your weight, it does slim you down. <laughs> yeah. If you happen to be a fat person watching this, um, which I'm getting that way, I'm eating too many peanut butter Snickers, but regardless, if you have a big head, uh, Uh, or a big body, just get a a bigger size hat on and people are going to just look at the hat and not at your body. Mm -mm. Keeps the eyes up there, keeps the middle waist completely out of the line of vision. Yes. Uh, But yeah, I mean, Mammoth Headwear uh, hats start at seven and three quarter inches wide and only go up from there. Yeah, sky's the limit, big boys. Check out their snapbacks, trucker hats, beanies, and even sunglasses that are wide enough to stay on your face. Stop snapping run-of-the-mill sunglasses in half or stretching out teeny tiny ball caps, okay? We know that's what you're doing. If you got a big head, you're snapping those sunglasses because your hands are probably, you're probably a strong man, Mm -hmm. and you're probably just don't even remember how strong you are, so you're snapping sunglasses. Well, with mammoth sunglasses, they're not going to snap. No. And and we know you've got a big brain in there, and it's about time you found a hat that can protect it, okay? (laughs) Because a lot of people with big heads are actually really smart people, too, because they yeah. do have a bigger brain. Stephen Hawking, Chris Benoit. <laughs> All mammoth headwear <laughs> users. Headwear users. <laughs> Stephen Hawking famously he loved, loved mammoth headwear. Yeah. He was an early investor in it, too. He was. And I think he kind of gave him some of the ideas for some of the good technology they got in these things. And he's a smart guy. And gosh, it was so hard to hear about him visiting Epstein's Island and stuff. But that's neither here nor there. <laughs> he was an early investor, really good investor. Mm-hmm. And he's super smart. So if Stephen Hawking likes a hat, I like a hat. Agreed. Needless to say, if it's good enough for him, it's good enough for us. Yeah, so. holy shit. It should be good enough for almost anybody. I mean, that dude was a smart man, and he was able to go around in that motorized thing he was on all the time. He was able to go in malls. He was able to get in escalators, elevators. Planes, bicycles, trucks. Yeah, I mean, he could get around, and he did get around. Uh, head to <laughs> mammothheadwear.com and use code WMS for 15% off and free shipping on U.S. orders. Yeah, just because your head's big doesn't mean your ears don't work. You heard that right. That's mammothheadwear.com, code WMS, or click the link in our show notes. Give the giant head of yours the gift of mammoth headwear.
Grant, do you have plan- big plans for Valentine's Day with your lady? No, I have none. Well, what I'll, are we going to do? I think I was do? thinking of getting a, a masseuse to come to our house <laughs> and maybe good. make some, you know, maybe a little, little bit of toast, some egg whites. It's a good idea. You might be able to help with that. Yeah. I've been taking notes. Mm. Mm-hmm. Listening, Casey. She'll listening. never know. I mean, let's be real. How many of our girlfriends are listening to this podcast? I reckon zero to one. Zero to one, maybe. Yeah, yeah probably. It's not zero, a girlfriend yeah. friendly podcast. No, not at all. Your girlfriend's normally on the podcast, right? And she's not going to listen to this. She's not here. Yeah, she's uh, yeah. heading up the people coming to steam clean the TT smell. So <laughs> she's at the apartment right now. Uh, That's important. Someone's got to do it. Someone has to. Yeah, me and my girlfriend went and had a big Valentine's dinner on Sunday that was the most expensive meal I've ever bought and gave us both food poisoning. <laughs> How much? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's hard. How much was the total? Yeah. yeah 170 was... bones. Wow. Woo! So, Sheesh! Yeah, what did y'all get? Hopefully that's like an appetite. Little, that's an little, app little, in there, little. hopefully. It's yeah. Some drinks. We got a bunch of apps. We got these delicious little Johnny cakes, which I thought were going to be like little cornbreads. Turns out they just smell and taste like shit. They're little <laughs> cornmeal pancakes with no flavor, but they have peppers in them, and they were $20, so very overpriced. What'd you do? Here. Like take a bite of one and then just say, fuck, Ooh, and put it, it back? Ooh, like ass. Yeah. Ooh, that if you're paying eighty five dollars, you got to eat them anyway. Well, yeah, we definitely finished up. Yeah, and they gave us all these crazy sauces that aren't appropriate for any sort of biscuit. Like, <laughs> no. you know, just like, oh, this is a, a fromage. This is a, a vec fromage, mm-hmm. which is, I think, just French for cheese. So it's like cheese sauce and all this bullshit and, on uh, the cakes on the johnny cakes or other stuff for the johnny cakes and then we got some delicious sourdough bread which was actually very good with honey mm. spread and it had you know just a little bit of beef tallow that we're spreading on there beef tallow butter what's tallow gosh what's yeah. beef tallow? it's like beef fat rendered beef fat or something mm. young and, uh, you know we got the lamb and everything and it made us sick that's horrible <laughs> is that what you had for your main course lamb yeah, I had lamb and then she had chicken, but we were so damn full, we just took the chicken home with us. Well, did y'all eat it at least for uh, uh, the next day? It's still been in the fridge. Okay. Because it got us a little sick, so we were a little wary of it, but it was a... Why did you have Valentine's Day the other... Why aren't you having Valentine's Day on Valentine's Day? Uh, we're busy. We're doing shows and stuff, so Sunday we had the day free, so we went and did that. So. Aw. Cool. Yeah. Pretty cute. Held hands. Went and got a tin type picture made. Old timey picture. I saw it. It was wonderful. Did you have to take turns on the old uh, toilet there when you were had? Food she took control of that for a while. I won't harp on it too long, but <laughs> yeah, she was in there for quite a while, and uh, yeah, so I kind of let her have the run of it. You know, it's kind of her day. So, <laughs> well, that's yeah. horrible for a hundred seventy dollars <laughs> getting yeah. all sick. Because I think my meatball marinara or whatever the fuck the place is i think it wasn't <laughs> that much i got horrible food poisoning as well a couple weeks ago dang it's going uh, around it is i don't know what they're just not cooking stuff correctly do you guys want to say people... the names of the businesses just to throw them under the bus or do you want to keep it sure um <laughs> we're right no grant i don't want it in there the waiter was really you want, nice you want me to bleep that out yeah i've been to that place it's great Sorry yeah it was good food it just made it gave us both mud butt but yeah. it is what it do, and it was fun to spend so much money. <laughs> it was fun. <laughs> <laughs> I've never spent money like that, so it was crazy. I'll be honest. That's a lot of money. It's an expensive meal. Yeah. For the most expensive meal of your life, not that much. Yeah. But still, I'm sitting there shelling out. I keep all my money in fives, so I was like, damn, the fives. Yeah, that was probably a big <laughs> stack of yeah, fives you handed over. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost 45, so yeah, it's like a 34 damn. five. So, yeah. Yeah, on my freaking birthday, we go out with two very sweet people, and the guy has my birthday, and he's given me a lot of advice in certain areas. Very sweet people. But Eric is like, oh, yeah, William will just get it. And then I look at the bill. And I was happy to. It was fine, but I was a little shocked. But if we went to birthday. some really nice place, I know I I hear you. I don't really want to get into the details of that. Yeah, it's my birthday. I really shouldn't be having to pay for this. No. But it, I was. Uh, I wanted to vomit. <laughs> uh, Thanks for the invite. Well, you weren't in town yet. Yeah. We didn't know you were in town. Thanks for yet. the invite. And you hadn't really met Casey yet. I mean, Casey and I were still on the fence up. About you, kind of. Yeah, we yeah, didn't fair. know you That's like fair. that. That's fair. Next yeah. year. Well, there's always next year. 
Yeah, and especially when you move here. I mean, your girl's got a freaking house, dude. His girl has a house. Oh, you nice. got to lock that down, Ari. Yeah, Put a yeah. Ring she's on a homeowner. Yes. Yeah, and is it a pretty nice house? Pretty nice house, and I drove her car here today. Pretty nice Tesla. Tesla, uh, Tesla Model 3. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Elon Musk owns that company. Cool. He's the richest man God in the world. Damn. I know, I know. I made it. And the house isn't haunted or anything, is it? Not Any that bad I know vibes of. in there? Do you guys believe in ghosts? Mm-hmm. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> well, we talk about ghosts quite often on here. Yes. They're not real. I've... T- Prove it. <laughs> prove can't, they're I not can't. real. Yeah, prove, but exactly. you can't prove they're real either. It's a psychological. Well, phenomenon. it's easier to prove they're real than not real. William, I've told Sorry. that story on here of how I heard that baby crying in my backyard in Atlanta. Yes. Okay, so undeniable evidence, undeniable right proof. Here. I used here, to have a, here, a graveyard right beyond my fence in Atlanta, and one night at one fifty-five in the morning, I was making chicken, uh, Texas Pete's chicken, in a crock pot to make delicious spicy quesadillas. Damn, it sounds good. And I heard something crying back there, and it was a baby crying right by the door. The dog was freaking out. It was a whole thing. One week later, the exact minute, one fifty-five a.m., same thing happened. Baby crying. Scared the pants off me. Never happened again. Last night. No, William, something happened last night. Last night. I'm sitting there. I'm watching spooky YouTube. Top 10 scariest moments of 2023. <laughs> <Like> <laughs> was it a good list? Yeah, yeah. It was a good countdown. <laughs> like scary YouTube. Who, like. watch, who would not only see that YouTube video, but like, I'm watching that. <laughs> 10 scariest moments. It's like, that sounds horrible video to watch. <laughs> It was like, you know, most horrifying things caught on dash cams that can't be explained. <laughs> <laughs> and I was just like fucking... Mm. And uh, <laughs> that seems like a legitimate sighting. And so I start hearing something, and I go, oh, it's a cat. Same thing in Atlanta. And um, I was like, oh, it's a cat. Sure enough, no, it's a baby crying right outside my door. Baby crying. I look at the clock, 3.55. And you know what time it is in Georgia? One fifty-five. Same time. It's on Eastern Time Zone? Yes. The Damn. baby's on Eastern Time Zone. Wait, yep. have you ever heard the baby at your place here in Austin? No, I never have. So it followed you? Wait, never mind. So it would have been... Wait, 255. It would have been, yeah, maybe even 455. But either way... 55? 55, not yes. good. Which everyone knows is a scary number. It's one of the scariest numbers except 66, but that doesn't appear at any time. Yeah, because yeah, then it's like 106 or yeah. something. Well, yeah, I, your story didn't convince me at all of ghosts, but it's I still like the story. It's true. It was like, it like, and I was like, I thought it was a cat. And then it was like, it was a baby like screaming right outside my door. And I'm just sitting there, I turn the TV off, okay. the scariest moment. Isn't a ghost a spirit that has unfinished business in the world? What? unfinished business does a baby have their entire life yeah. good point good point they never got to their whole bike. life that'd be That's bad it. to go out as a baby Mm-mm. they never got to run a business <laughs> yeah <laughs> they never got to start the business to finish it <laughs> Oh, so scary. Well, that's a little strange that it has happened now in Austin. I had an encounter. It could have been a cat last night, but I'm pretty sure it was a baby crying. It was just a totally unnatural noise I've never heard, except those two other times. Mm -hmm. What about a baby cat? A kitty, some people call it. Meow, meow. Kitty. Meow, meow. I miss those commercials, the Meow Mix commercials Uh where the cats would sing. Those were pretty cool. How do they find those animal actors who know how to do that shit? I don't yeah, know. there might be Hollywood acting for animals. Who knows? If not, it's yeah. a business we should start for sure. For sure. Because what is your business? You just started. You've started a business. Oh, perfect segue. Yeah, I did just start a business <laughs> that I wanted to shout out. I was telling them about it. Off air, they call it in the biz. And it's called canineacredit.com. And if you're out there and you have a pup, some sort of dog, any age dog, really. And you may find it difficult to take out to restaurants. Maybe you have a landlord that doesn't want you to have it and you have it in secret anyway. Stuff like that. You can get a certificate for it to be a service dog or an emotional support animal or a therapy dog. Just go to caninecredit.com and you can get your dog certification today. And what do you things, sign? Do you hand sign all of these? Uh, no, it's automated. It's through a system, ADA certifications, it's approved by the government, all that. That being said, you may be out there thinking, (laughs) I heard those things aren't legit. I heard those certifications aren't necessary. They're not. They're all fake, I found out. They're all bullshit. So I figured Mm. I'd start my own. 
Have, how's business? Uh, zero sales so far. <laughs> that being said, it's only been open a few days, and this is the first marketing I've done to it. Thank you for pulling it up. That's K9Accredit.com there on the screen. Release. He's and launching. even though it's kind of an illegitimate gray area business, I will say having a certificate for your dog do, is it keeps you covered. If you go to a restaurant and they're like, hey, we can't have dogs here, you could show it, and most of the time they'll be like, all right, fine. What about yeah. the so airport? Nice thing to have. Yeah, same airport? thing. Airport. Uh, it might. I don't know. I haven't looked into that. <laughs> so you made should. this website? Yeah, I made that. Is that K9. expensive What's making that? a website? K9accredit.com. I spent about $80 on the theme, and I spend about $4 a month hosting it and $10 a year for the domain. So all in all, I've spent upwards of $100 on this, plus my time. Jesus. Your time's worth something for sure. Yeah. So, yeah, hopefully I could sell a couple certifications from coming on this pod and break even, but... How much does a certification yeah, cost? Uh, ESA certifications are 35, service animal 70, therapy dog 100. Mm. So it depends on certification you are looking for. That being said, I don't want to steal all of your listeners' money because I know that this show itself, I'd rather you not buy a certification, actually. I'd rather mm, you guys bad. subscribe to, to the Patreon for the podcast. We'd love that, and we'd I'd love to, that. for you to bring your dog on an airplane, too. It's a toss-up. Yes, yes. It's either get on the Patreon, uh, take your dog to the airport. Uh, it's <laughs> one of the to use already service or sign up for our Patreon. It's pretty much one of those two things. Yeah, you whichever have, one you want. How about this? You, I'm going to put a coupon code on the Patreon for free certifications. So if you subscribe to their Patreon, let's make it 75% off. Certif let's not be crazy. I I'm an Indian yeah, giver. Yeah. You got to call pay it the domain. Yeah, I got to pay for something. But I'll I'll put a 75% coupon on the podcast Patreon for your canine. Cool. Credit. That'll probably really actually help. Yeah. So thank you there so you go, much. One of the perks. Thanks, man. Need to get you to make me a website or something. How'd you do oh, it? Word hundred bucks? Yeah, I use WordPress. I'm kind of a nerd, a tech nerd. <laughs> Just another reason why I have a girlfriend, really, because I know how to make websites. She's, She's into that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, girls, <laughs> these days, nerds are kind of in. You have to embrace. Don't hide your nerdiness. If you're into something, if you have a skill, if you have a passion that maybe some some fellas out there who maybe wear cowboy boots would make fun of you for, just embrace it mm. and get a girlfriend. Or who's, a boyfriend if you're a homosexual. Who's that girl? Grant, scroll back down. Who's this girl? How'd That's you find a stock her? image. Gosh, I've never gorgeous. met her, nor do I know her name. So you're allowed to just use it the stock image. Yeah, it came with a theme. Mm. Ooh this She's theme was ordinary. actually made for some a business who sells dog food, and I kind of modified it for a canine credit. Yeah. I was about to say, yeah, there's a lot of pictures of dog food on Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just yeah. seem to apply. I, I could use to change it a little bit more, but... It works. It works. So you might as well, Grant, will you scroll down just a little bit? So there's three <laughs> different options. So it's almost like you might as well get the cheapest option since none of them really mean anything. <laughs> and that, that it yeah, is? I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> you're not wrong. That's kind of an insider secret for the pod. Okay, okay. okay. But yeah, or it depends on how supportive you want to be and how much accreditation you want for your pup. Okay. Or you could say buy all three. That way you're just prepared for anything. Yeah, you could have a bundle deal where you do yeah. all three and it's Ooh, maybe 20 bucks off or something. Yeah, smart. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and you can put it in the dog's passport so he has all his little files together. Yeah. It's and is this matter. promising people it's going to work? You, I'm sure I'm sure you can't say um, you can't promise anything know, because I, what if somebody gets in trouble, they're going to sue your ass? I absolutely promise, but that's just a personal promise and this won't hold up. Yeah, it's not like it's not a legal promise. I'm just promising you guys as like friends that it'll work. But if I'm wrong, like sorry. Yeah, just sorry, sorry. about that. <laughs> Don't take them to court. I'm not always right. Yeah, so sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you tried it yourself using these files? Have you done any beta testing or anything? That would be a good thing to do as a business owner. And I, I want to be fully transparent here. I have not done that. All right. But I'm pretty confident <laughs> it looks good. <laughs> I've looked at the certificates, and to me, I'm like, that looks pretty legit. <laughs> Did you have to design the certificates, or were you able to find just some random uh, script for I, a certificate? I designed them based off of some random scripts. So I okay. kind of looked at a few random scripts, implemented the things I liked about them, and made my own. Damn. Doesn't yeah. get much better than that. I'm an entrepreneur, guys. <laughs> it's the American dream. Yeah. 
Well, we started a couple websites this year. Oh, let's hear them. Yep. I did uh, the 60-day end of the wild challenge where I follow Christopher McCandless, his footsteps into Alaska, and um, I'm trying to find his van to strip the van and make it into keychains. And you could buy a little piece of the van that he lived in. Which is a wonderful idea. Yeah. I want one of those keychains. So, I will happily buy one of those yeah. keychains. So um, this is awesome, by the way. Thanks. Sounds so cool. How do we get you to go to the Alaskan? We have to donate money. And if yes. you raise up a certain amount, you will go to Alaska. Yeah, and if I get $100,000, I'll go to Alaska. $100,000 plus travel. Mm-hmm. And I'll go there and I'll strip the van myself. And then make more money off the van. And then I'll sell uh, the keychains. So yeah. if you can make $110,000, you'll go and then make more money. Yeah. I like uh-huh. that. That's and, a but good business. If you get in early, like for every $100 you donate, you get one keychain. So it's expensive. You can get as many keychain. keychains as you want. Yeah, yeah, you could get theoretically a bunch because I think yeah. a big school bus, you can make a lot of keychains yeah. depending on the size of the keychain. Yeah, we're looking at like four or 5,000 keychains probably from Damn. the size of the bus. So. Have you ever made a keychain from hunks of metal before? Do you have any experience doing such? No, no. I haven't really welded or anything. It's mostly going to be hammer and sickle. I'm going to do the old Soviet method. So I'm going to kind of chip away at the weaker parts of the van first. And then kind of bend and bend and bend until the pieces break off, I guess. And is this set up to where I could pre-order a keychain right now or not yet? Mm-hmm. You're working on it. It yeah. Okay. yeah. It's I'll... called crazyformacanlist.gov. I see those keychains being worth way more than $100. So I think you'd be dumb not to pre-order a keychain, in my opinion. For sure. Because so. it's kind of like Yeezys. You guys hear about the Yeezy Super Bowl commercial? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you got a pair, didn't you? I bought a pair. They're $20 right now. What? Plus twenty dollars in shipping, so it's actually like forty dollars right now. Bucks. But still, forty dollars for Kanye West shoe yeah. line <laughs> that he originally had for sale for two hundred dollars. That's not bad. It's almost as good of a deal as this keychain right here. <laughs> it is, yeah, Casey. You're gonna have Pretty to close. worry about resellers, like on eBay or that's whatever, because so that's the problem a lot of these people have running these mm-hmm. websites. It's resellers. You sell something, the resellers get their bots in there. The yeah. bots buy all the keychains, and they get on eBay and sell them for 150. Fuck. Yeah. Well, that's well, what I'm gonna do. Is that okay? is, but if I tell you now, is that okay? That's fine. I'll give you like five pro bono. Oh wow. That's like five hundred. That's like a thousand dollars worth of keychains, right? The well, thank resale you. value is Thank nice. you very much. But we're typically we'll do like five per household, strict limit. Smart. That's smart. So everybody can get one. Really, it's like my nice coins. Thing. I started buying. You're only allowed to get five packages of the five hundred <laughs> coins at a time. Because you get five hundred dollars worth of coins, and then you sell them each. If you sell each individual coin, you make two thousand dollars. You do this too? Uh huh. I just started. Damn, you guys are. We're all yeah, look yeah. three businessmen. We're hustling. Dog sure. credit, keychains, coins. Yep, this is nice. awesome. Earlier this year, I went to Laos. Have you guys heard of Laos? It's a country near Thailand and Cambodia. I love Laos in Southeast Asia. Mm-hmm. Beautiful country. I went there on a uh, little group vacation when I was going through a breakup with the same girl who I'm back together with. But anyways, you're kidding. No, I swear. <laughs> was it a bad breakup? Bad breakup. I was heartbroken. I was like, I need to just escape. Whose idea world. was it? Yours or hers? No, I didn't go with her. I went no, for the breakup. Oh, hers. Every time it's hers. <laughs> well, every I would never time, break up with. I would never break up with her. She's a goddess. How it's many breakups have there been? Oh, we've broken up maybe five to seven times. You're oh, kidding? No. no, over a year and a half. That's not how. You're kidding? Well, it's my first girlfriend, so I messed it up a lot. <laughs> how are you messing up? It sounds like you're doing <laughs> a lot. What are you doing? Oh, you know, like watching too much pornography or saying something that hurts her feelings. <laughs> are or, you watching the porn yeah. in front of her? I have. Yeah. <laughs> what is like a freaky kind of thing? Yeah, I'm or like, she accidentally I'm like, just walks in on you. <laughs> no, freaky. I try to be freaky, and she's like, "This is gross. Stop." <laughs> Things like that. Anyway, that's besides the point. I went to Laos. <laughs> I think I revealed a lot of personal information so there. Anyway, hot. I went to Laos. Yeah. Earlier this year, and I don't know if you guys know this. During the Vietnam War, America used to dump bombs all over Laos because it was like a trade route for Vietnam or some some sort of route where they would transport weapons. So Laos kind of has this history of like, oh, America really messed us up during the Vietnam War. And apparently there's a lot of bombs that got that dropped on Laos that never even went off. So there's kind of like landmines all over oh. Laos from America. And there's people that try to find the landmines and make keychains from them. 
<laughs> and a lot of them get like limbs blown off in the process. But when you go to these night markets, it's called, you see all these kind of funky looking keychains that were made from American landmines. And your bus idea kind of reminded me of that. Yeah, I, well, I got it from the, the best. They call them some of the best businessmen in the world, the La Laysians. Yeah, Laysians. Mm -hmm. It's a very poor country, but I, I know what you're saying. Laysians. How and much were the keychains, <coughs> the bomb keychains? I think kind of whatever you'd give them, they'd probably take. Oh, it's a barter okay. system. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Did you get your girl one? No. The, the tour guide we were on was like, please do not support this keychain business because a lot of people get hurt in the process. We don't want to support that. And I was like, okay. You slipped in I five listened. dollars really quick. Yeah, part of me, part <laughs> no, of me sure. wanted to buy it even more. <laughs> no, for sure, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Wait, so when was the last time y'all? Like, when was the last time y'all broke up? Right before this Laos trip, we we got back. To, we so here's so y'all been going pretty good for a little while. Yeah, we actually okay. so we broke up. I planned this trip to Thailand and Laos, and then right before the trip, we got back together. And I'm like, well, shit, I already paid for this trip for as my like grieving trip. So I'm going on it. <laughs> then I went for three weeks, and we were back together the whole time. And then we've been together since. Cool. Well, always a silver lining. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you say? Yeah, it's uh, just a glass half full. So, you know, relationships are hard. I think you could all, everyone who's been in one of your listeners, I bet you a third of your listeners have been in a relationship before, mm -hmm. and they could acknowledge they're hard. <laughs> Well, you're working, and I swear she's going to love the plans you have for tomorrow. I mean, you. It, and if she doesn't, there's a problem. So yeah. You need to mm -hmm. draw a line in the sand. If she's not really happy about everything going down tomorrow, you need to have that line. You need to step over the line. Yeah, maybe I'll say something. I'll never break up with her because she's way out of my league, complete goddess. I'm in love with her. <laughs> does so she, she realize kind of do... that? So does, she, does that mean she holds all the power? Yeah, I tell her. I tell her I'll never break up with you, no matter what. I I'm in it. I don't I'm know a, if you say I that. I commit. I do. No, it's because like relationships are work and you have to be willing to make it your number one priority for it to work. So I tell her I'll never, I'll never give up on this. <laughs> well, that's I'll never sweet. Give up on you or us. <laughs> yeah. Seems like she's stepping all over you. What does she do for, why is she so successful with the big she house? She does OnlyFans. Very sexy. This yeah, I like. Sexy, yeah. And then you watch the porn and that freaks her out. Yeah, she's not very sexual. You'd think what? someone. I, I don't want to. You know what? We're getting. <laughs> I'll tell. I'll reveal personal stuff about me. Was she the, just yeah, reading books on OnlyFans? What do you she mean likes she's books. not very yeah, sexual? Yeah, she likes books. She makes art. Cool. Yeah. Hmm. Cool. Art. Well, you'll figure this all out, Ari. You'll figure it out. I mean, it's young love. Yeah, we're just young kids in love. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe I'll get married. I and hope. Have kids. If she'd ever let me, I'd marry her. Would you bust inside <laughs> of her? Oh, I, yeah, I do that. Would you do it for $100? I'd do it. You'd, I'd pay $100 to do it. <laughs> no, do what it if she paid chain? you? <laughs> oh, would I do it on the internet? Yeah. Mm, I'd need more than 100 what How much would chain? you? Yeah, what about a keychain? So I have, uh, yeah, one of your keychains. <laughs> that's like 200 250 I is my theory. But no, I would need in actuality for me to do it. I would want ten grand. What, like hitting it from the back? Like for me to put my <laughs> body parts on the internet. You could wear a baklava or balaclava, <laughs> yeah. and then people would know it's you. Wait, baklava, isn't that a dessert? Wait, dessert? baklava, is, is that, that a dessert, dessert I, think? I think? That is a dessert. It's Greek, Yo. I think. Uh, so I meant balaclava, I think. <laughs> is that what I think? Just cover your face in uh, pastry ears. Of okay, it. if I could cover my face <laughs> in a Greek dessert, five grand. Okay, so half. the price yeah. goes down. Yeah. Because you could just... Be anonymous. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pie man totally ravages. <laughs> what would yeah. your number be? What would you guys put your, your girth out there online for? And again, are we seeing our faces or it could be anonymous? Let's go anonymous first. Hmm. Mm. Oh, sorry. That's a babushka. I got the wrong one. $2,000. 2 k okay. You'd Not smash bad. for 2000 Well, I wouldn't want my face in it. How but much would you do with your face? Casey Rocket. 150,000. Yeah, Casey Rocket sex tape. I mean, that could be a popular <laughs> that, sex tape. 150,000. Might, there might be someone out there willing to pay that right now. <laughs> 150,000 out the door. I'm showing Shaft. Okay. 150,000 out the door. I'll hit it from the back. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what about you? Mm, with my face in it or not? Both. 
without and see i have to be careful because all my shit's <laughs> orange so people might still be able to know it's me <laughs> they could if, pick it out of a lineup yeah, yeah they yeah. probably be able well, to pick me out of a lineup. you have two brothers it could be them it could be the one with red hair yeah it could be the one brother <laughs> the one with brown hair it'd be strange it could be andrew santino who mm-hmm. knows yeah it could it could be carrot top it could be <laughs> no carrot top's gray at this point yeah, he's probably he's gray. gray. Yeah. Um, his dick is probably covered in like little props and things. <laughs> his little top hat on his penis. He braids it. Yeah. It's probably real strong. I mean, do you see how strong his rest of his body is? He probably works yeah. that thing out. Yeah, probably. Kegel exercises. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude's jack. Big, veiny, strong. <laughs> We're being gross today. Yeah, I don't know. My fault. My fault. I think I would be a little, I think I would be a little scared. I would be thinking about my mom and dad the whole time. I'm like, they're going to somehow see this shit. <laughs> I don't know. I think yeah, I wouldn't, it'd be hard for me to get in the mood, I think. So but no number. You wouldn't do it. I don't know. I think I'd be. $150,000 cash you're saying no to. I don't know. Maybe if I was like super confident in that area of my life, but I think it wouldn't do me any favors for people to see how I have sex. I don't think it would do me a lot. I don't think it would do anything for me. If anything, it would make people be like, what's he doing? Like, <laughs> it's doing this it is all awkward. Wrong. Yeah. yeah. I think it would end up being way too much pushback on me personally. Uh, so that's probably why I would steer hey, clear. Respect. <laughs> now, if I was super confident, yeah, I don't know, five, ten thousand, probably. Nice. If I was like super confident, yeah, like uh, if you really had that thing going, yeah, if I really could work that thing how I can in my mind, I would probably <laughs> five thousand yeah. easy. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, she would, I mean, the girl would have to pay my, yeah, I mean, she'd have to pay my ass. Uh, but that's not really how it works. So you never know. The right fan out there on the internet might want to make this dream come true. Mm-hmm. Yeah, who knows? Um, <laughs> yeah, when you when you plant that seed, you never know what's gonna blossom mm-hmm. in people's minds. What about so. you, Grant? You got a number? Like twenty? 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 Twenty dollars? <laughs> yeah, twenty what? <laughs> yeah, twenty bucks probably. Be pretty good. <laughs> You're kidding? Face. To show your face or not show your face? Yeah, either one. I get whatever. <laughs> Anything for a 20. <laughs> <laughs> this guy knows the value of a dollar. Yeah. And that's what you're missing out on. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> but it's, I don't know. If, again, if it, it's a confidence issue. Yeah. I get so it. we'll see. <laughs> Yeah, I don't. Uh, what, gosh, that would be kind of exciting. I don't know. Yeah, she probably, maybe if it's just solo stuff, maybe she isn't going to ask you. It's solo stuff. <laughs> yeah, for now. We'll see what the future holds. Well, you can't. You'd have to put your foot down if she was like, yeah, I'm doing a thing today. And like some dude walks in. Oh, yeah. No, I wouldn't. I'd at least get mad at her for it. You'd have to I'd get at least be like, that. I don't like that. Yeah. You're yeah. making me upset. And I'd cry a lot. Probably. I'd cry a lot. <laughs> <sighs> uh, well, y'all are going to have a great Valentine's Day tomorrow. Thank you. <laughs> it's going to be a nice Valentine's <laughs> Thank you. Day. It should be good. <laughs> Oh, uh, it'll be good. <clears throat> <laughs> Lots to look forward to. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Well, that's exciting. Hey, well, you're so sweet to divulge this info for us because, yeah, again, I was uh, almost in disbelief when you were telling me all this information last night. <laughs> almost part, in which disbelief. Part did, which part did you not believe? I didn't. When you started showing me the pictures, I'm thinking, <laughs> you're a good-looking, smart guy, but I'm just thinking, generally speaking, oh, my gosh, this is wild. And then uh, <laughs> and then you tell me about what she does, and I'm thinking, oh, my gosh, this is crazy. The heart wants what it wants. Yeah. I know, I know, I know. You don't plan for these things. I think I'm, I'm meeting this girl. We're going to have... You know, good time together, not thinking about the future. And then after day one, I'm like, oh, my gosh, I'm in love forever. <laughs> so what if she was doing this, but she didn't have the house or the Tesla? Would it be a different story if she no. like, only had one subscriber on her OnlyFans? Would it be a different? Yeah. Would you tell her to get her ass off? Not of at all. Because it's not working? No, not at all. I am not in it for the money. I'm not a materialistic guy. She could be broken. I'll take care of her if it was the other way around. You would start an OnlyFans. Too, I'd start. Care. I'd hopefully canine credit picks off and <laughs> yeah, lifts and off, then and then just I got could got that in the works. And, you know, hopefully, canine credit does so well from this podcast that I could say, "Hey, baby girl, you don't need to do this OnlyFans no more. We got we got dog accreditation service that's killing it. <laughs> we got dog money now. Yeah." But she could be married to the game, dude. You don't know that. I Yeah, that's She true. might just love the whole process of it all. She might, but I don't think she does. I think if 
canine credit really took off and i was like here's money you don't need to do this no more let me save you because all women want is a hero they want a man to save them that's what yeah. women want in general if you're looking to get a girlfriend save her save her from a burning building save her from a train that the steering messed up like in the movie speed with keanu reeves do something like that you'll probably have her in the bag. Well, it's so weird you say that because one of my big musical inspirations growing up was Project Pat, and he had a specific <laughs> song that was, don't save her, she don't want to be saved, don't <laughs> save her. It was a great song. Have you ever heard that song? I haven't. But well, don't listen I, to it today. Yeah, it was like, Sometimes they I, don't want to get saved. My core beliefs go against that song, okay, but it okay, sounds like okay. a good song. Some women, yeah, but I think by and large, a woman wants a guy who's going to come home, slap down a check, and say, look at this baby, I made $1,200 this year on that dog website, you don't have to do this anymore, that's over $100 a month, or yes. it's exactly $100 a month, <laughs> Yeah, actually. something like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah if you could pull in 100 bucks a month. That'd be good. That's cause crazy. That'd be, considering I spent $100 on it, that's 12x. Mm-hmm. 12x. I, I, does Tesla make 12x? No. Yeah, Probably think, not. No, I don't think you can. So At basically all. you're saying I'm the next Elon Musk. Well, that'll be an interesting uh, relationship dynamic between y'all because it sounds like she's the main bread, breadwinner right now. But what if you became the main breadwinner? I wonder what would even happen with the dynamic. I think it'd stay the same. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. Yeah. I want to see a picture. Of her? Yes. I'll show you off air. Okay. I don't want, I want to keep it anonymous sure. online because, you know, I have enough stalkers as it is. I have enough women try, messaging me going, please, can I see your penis? Please, yeah. can I suck it? Like, it happens all the time. <laughs> oh, my it. Sorry, gosh. Sorry for being vulgar. It just happens too much as it is. So I, don't, I can't have more of that going on. Yeah. Do y'all have a gun in the house? Does she have stalkers? I keep guns a lot of places, like knives and guns. <laughs> like right by the door, like, oh, how's it going? There's one by the bed. There's one under the coffee table, various places throughout the house, just yeah, just for safety. To. And we're in Texas. So she's never had a problem with that, though? Knock on wood, not yet. We also have security mm -hmm. systems at the house. There's cameras all over the outside. We try to <laughs> be prepared. I like to keep one of those taxi driver guns on me. That's like right here, so I can go to shake a hand. The gun comes right out like that. How are you? <laughs> Still got an issue? <laughs> yeah, it's a six shooter. So. Isn't that how you shoot those Wait things really that. fast? You just mess with that. Yeah. You don't even mess with the trigger. Yeah, just yeah. that. Bye-bye. <laughs> Hope you get some rest. Yeah, in hell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got to spit on the yeah. dead body. You have to. Wow. All right, babe, help me hide this fucker. Yeah. It's That's almost Valentine's Day. <laughs> yeah. That's a at good midnight. day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's Valentine's at midnight. We have to hide the body. Ride <laughs> 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 or die. What is that wonderful <laughs> movie that has the wonderful song by Danny Elfman, my man Danny Elfman, and it's like a tropical-sounding song, but the the movie, I think, is set in Detroit. So it's real kind of weird because it's kind of a stark Detroit snowy time, but it has this beautiful song, True Romance. Okay. Wasn't yeah. he tr – he was trying to save the girl. She was a stripper, I think. She was hmm. a prostitute. Was her, she just did her first trick, Patricia Arquette, mm -hmm. and she wanted to be saved, though. She wanted to be saved. It worked out. Mm -hmm. It worked out at the end. Yeah. What's that, that really famous one where he rescues a prostitute and gives her a good life? Pretty um, woman. Pretty woman, yeah. yeah. Born identity. Those, yeah. are, those are all based off of real stories. Yes. You think someone just came up with those out of nowhere? Mm. No. Those, no way. That's real life, baby. Who's that, Carrot Top or Danny Elfman? I'm kidding. Doesn't he kind of look like <laughs> Carrot Top there? Yeah, he does. <laughs> Danny Elfman. Is, is he a younger guy? I always thought he's a really old man. He has big man. arms, too, yeah. I think that he guy has, lifts. He got to be plastic surgery. And Danny, if you happen to be watching this, I love you. I'm a giant fan. But yeah, it looks like he's got plastic <laughs> surgery. He looks insane. Wow, strong. But he has wonderful music. Yeah, talented. <laughs> he's covered. A lot of talented people are look insane. Marilyn Manson. Uh -huh. looks in, absolutely insane. You. 
Very yeah. talented. <laughs> Definitely look insane. Thank you. Yeah, I didn't take a shower today, so my beard, I do this with my beard a lot, so then it looks even crazier if I don't take a shower. I just stayed in the bed all morning. Went to sleep real late, stayed in the bed, got back on eBay last night looking at coins. <laughs> coins and fucking vintage camouflage hunting jackets. What's your most prized coin? <laughs> Honestly, that's what I was looking up last night for three fucking hours. And I actually uh, uh, <clears throat> sent somebody an offer on something and uh, they went my way on it. So that's always really exciting when they on a put jacket. A, We're about they to see put a, a new price. jacket. <laughs> yeah, then they put a price and then I give them a low ball and then they actually go with it. That's like I've won. You're one of those guys who messages the seller. They have it at a price and you go, I'll give you half that. No, on some of them it's like <laughs> buy now, whatever, or give me a price give me your price. Gotcha. So I'll go in and get throw in low ball numbers sometimes. <laughs> and if I put a bunch, if I cast my net a bunch, I'll end up getting one or two. And I got one last night. Wow. New yeah, hunting pretty, jacket. Pretty cool hunting jacket. Really cool camouflage on it. And then you switch it inside out and it's a very fun orange color on the inside. Mm. I haven't told Erica yet. I have too many, I have too too many clothing items now. A little bit. We <laughs> just much, have a small space, so how it makes much it was hard. it? Uh, I think I paid seventy dollars wow. after everything. That's not bad. At so all. not bad, and no. it's brand yeah. new. Oh wow, yeah. Sounds brand like new vintage, deal. new without tags. <laughs> NWOT. That's what I'm looking for. <laughs> NWOT, new without tags. That's what I search in eBay. <clears throat> and I would say awesome. the brand, but I can't because there's not enough of the stuff on eBay, and I don't want people looking it up as well. But it's a wonderful vintage hunting brand. You don't want to run into someone wearing the same jacket. You want to be the only one <laughs> Correct. with the jacket. Dang. Okay. Well, the, are, bots, the bots will buy them. Yeah, the bots will buy them because there's some other bangers on there. But they're all kind of silly. They all have like a patch on the thing where I guess you put your shotgun. So I think I okay. really look like a poser. There's this one black one that's beautiful. But it's goofy, kind of. It has, like, the shoulder patch. It's like, it would be a real look. It sounds awesome. I can't wait to see you rocking this. Well, we'll see. I didn't bid on that one. That's not this one that I got. Are there any weird eBay things that you're into, Casey, or not as much? (sighs) Well, I bought a first edition copy of The Mothman Prophecies that was really expensive. That was my big thing. Is that a comic book? Sorry for my ignorance. No, it's a. <laughs> sorry, I almost just got so pissed. I was stormed out. <laughs> yeah, I apologize. It's okay. It made me so pissed. Yeah, I understand. Um, I it's do that, a, I do that to people. <laughs> considered to be the foremost uh, book on ufology and cryptozoology ever written, made into a movie by Richard with Richard Gere. Um, it's a book about how people were seeing this giant flying man in uh, Point Pleasant, West Virginia. It's a true story. And then a bridge collapsed, and people thought that the Mothman was trying to warn them what's the, the movie called the mothman prophecies i never so, heard of it I'm yeah sorry. I'm super sorry. good but so i bought sorry. a first edition 80 bucks i talked him way down on oh nice yeah. nice nice now you got to get it signed if he's still alive he's that's dead. the next goal <laughs> he's been dead for a number of years but richard gear's alive i could get him to sign. Get are you him really to into ufos up? then mm-hmm. yeah i lived in roswell new mexico for two years oh wow yeah what were you doing there there's nothing there i went to high school there at a military boarding high school called new mexico military institute oh, wow. it's kind of a bad boy i went to a military school too for six months i went to riverside military academy no way yeah we have a lot in common. Oh my god, <laughs> very similar. But you six months, so you didn't last long. No, six months. I just had to do six months, and then I could go back to regular school because I was banned from all the public schools for six months or something. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> you were in bad. there two years. Two years. I after six months, I remember calling my parents. I was crying my eyes out, and I'm like, "Please, can I come home? I hate it here." <laughs> It's so hard. They're so mean. Please, please, please. Like begging. And they were like, nope. You have to give it at least a year. You have to give it a year. And then after the first year, I wanted to go back because your second year, you have like rank. Uh-huh. You so go they up. kind of convinced you to want to go back. And then after the second year, I was like, I've done it. What rank did know. you, were you able to acquire? <laughs> Corporal, <laughs> which is not a high rank, but it was, as a sophomore in high school, it's the highest you could have. I'm cool. Yeah. Yeah, I was a private the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> did you resent your family? I think subconsciously I did. Yeah. Was it and good still for do. you? <laughs> yeah, it was good. It made me, I was kind of a um, sheltered, privileged. I don't want to say I was spoiled. I wasn't spoiled, 
but I was sheltered and privileged. And, you know, my mom did my laundry and my mom made my bed. Oh, there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, things like that. <laughs> my mom cooked my, cooked my meals. She bought me my clothes. So I was just very taken care of. That all sounds pretty normal to me. Yeah, but I think some people would say, oh, you're from San Diego. You're spoiled. I wasn't spoiled. I didn't get everything I wanted, but I was taken care of. I had meals on the table, and I had clothes in my closet and you know, that, that sort of thing. When you go there, you're fully on your own. You're doing your laundry. You're making your bed. You're cleaning your room. You're doing everything. Mm-hmm. So I grew up from it. Cool. Well, yeah. that's good. What, were you acting like a little shit before when your mom shit. was doing everything for you? <laughs> yeah, I'd do. she would do everything for me, and then she'd be like, it's bedtime. I'd be like, you're not the boss of me, yeah, bitch. Fuck you, bitch. Yeah, fuck <laughs> you. <laughs> fuck you. I'm a man. I'm a man. Yeah. Yeah. I'm making uh, chicken and dumplings. I'm going to yeah. be up for at least another hour. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got I to proof the bread, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Waiting for the yeast to settle. I love chicken and dumplings. <laughs> so good. Woo! Yes, please. Cracker Barrel has a pretty good chicken and dumplings. Agreed. Underrated place. And big checkers, too. You can play checkers. They're huge. Woo! (laughs) And then they have that game where you have the pegs, and if you leave five or more, you're an ignoramus. (laughs) And I think if you, and I always thought this was strange, I think if you leave four, you're just plain dumb. And I always thought just plain dumb sounds more mean than ignoramus. So I don't know. I agree with you. They need to think about the rules, changing those rules up a little bit or something. (laughs) It's so weird about the boarding school thing. I was just reading about there's some place in North Carolina called like the woods or something where kind of troubled teens go. The Mm -hmm. parents send them out and they just found some frozen dead kid with his pants and underwear off. Oh, God. Oh, like he was molested? I don't Um, know. And then the cops came or whatever (laughs) and the place wouldn't let anybody – they wouldn't let the t- cops talk to any of the kids who were with them. I yeah. don't know. It sounds like, did you read some about you that? You kind of like, wow. when you go to stuff like that, your parents sign over like all parental rights to these places. Because I went to somewhere like that. I went to a rehab when I was 14. That was like a teen challenge kind of. That's what it's, it's a troubled teen industry where you go uh-huh. and you live with all these other troubled teens and they just fuck your shit up all day and you oh, work and crazy horrible. stuff. Did it suck? That was awful, yeah. What I, drugs were you coming off of? <laughs> <laughs> if you if you well, if you don't mind sharing, if it's a personal. Well, back then it was like uh, painkillers and cough medicine and things. Okay. I was fourteen, so yeah. it was pretty. Good. But yeah, yeah. painkillers. So yeah, I came off the painkillers pretty bad there. But yeah, I ran away after like twelve days, so I wasn't there very long. But I was supposed to be there for nine months. So, yeah, <laughs> and I was like, eh, I'm gonna take off. Yeah, and I Would ran you away. Just run through the woods or yeah. something. I ran through the woods. Someone said that there was a gas station a couple miles away to the left. <laughs> and I was like, all right, <laughs> I'm a hoof it. And then, yeah, I just sprinted a couple miles to the gas station. Yeah. And you were able to get a ride or something um, or call somebody? I uh, stole a can of ether from the gas station. I went and huffed in the woods for a while. And then some people oh started to <laughs> <laughs> which kind of reaffirmed. It was like, maybe I should have been in there. Uh-huh. But there was, it was so awful. And they wouldn't let us sleep. And all we did was dig stumps all day. It was awful. Oh, it was like that and, movie Holes with Shia yeah. LaBeouf. It was yeah. terrible. Just digging stumps. and then, What does digging stumps like, mean? Just, Those character. Like trees that were cut down, but they would have the stump, and you'd just have to dig the roots out. So it was just work for the uh-huh. sake of doing work. Yeah. yeah. Like a labor camp for teens. And, and it was uh-huh. about God somehow. And uh, <laughs> somehow God factored into it. I still haven't figured out that part. And according to the yeah. Shia LaBeouf movie, <laughs> Holes, you were probably something hidden underneath these trees that you were secretly looking for. Right. And yeah. if you found it, you'd make the camp, the teen camp, multi-gazillionaires. Mm-hmm. Tiffany's Treasure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Tiffany, yeah. Is that what it was called <laughs> yeah. at the camp? <laughs> Tiffany's, Tiffany's Treasure. Every <laughs> camp has their own, but <laughs> ours is Tiffany's Treasure. But yeah, so then someone from the camp had also left that day, and I saw him pull up to the gas station with his parents. So I was all ethered out, and I like ran up to him, and I was like, "They're looking for me!" And he was like, "Whoa!" And then, uh, <laughs> and, then uh, and there was a payphone. This is right at the very end of payphones being a real thing. It's really rural area, and I had some change, and I called my dad, and I was like, "Hey, I ran away," and he's like, "I know." Uh, he's like, "They called me or whatever." And then they came and got me. So it was the whole thing. The police came and got me. It was the whole thing. Wow. But did they, but did they didn't to... take you back. <laughs> no, they said I could not come back because I was – running away would have threatened the safety of the other kids in some way. So they wouldn't let me come back. So, yeah. It was a pretty good deal. Oh, gosh. I just got to leave, which is yeah, what I wanted. So. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, the place in North Carolina, they do something where they get your ass out of bed at nighttime. Yeah. And it sounds like it scares the kids. <laughs> they just have these two people come and grab your ass out of bed. I like don't it, know where like you're going. Yeah. Yeah, I've heard about that. They can kidnap you. A lot of them will yeah. teach you survival skills and then they put you 24 hours by yourself in like a designated area. They're like, you're going to be alone. You have a solo journey for 24 hours. But it's a lot for a kid. <laughs> you know, it's 12 year old kids. Yeah. Do those things help people or not? Probably not. I yeah. Don't know. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of abandonment issues, I would imagine. It made me a lot more racist going to military school. <laughs> Did it? Yeah, Against they really whom? instilled racist value. Everyone. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, that's good. Not yeah. just one specific group. Yeah, everyone except, everybody. except for the whites, of course. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> well, that's good. Again, everyone, not just yeah. but specifically it, something. Right, except for the whites, but yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> cool, well, that'll happen in Roswell, New Mexico. Yeah. I've heard this bunch of racists down there. <laughs> yeah. And the aliens. Um, <laughs> scary stuff. Yeah, really scary. But you didn't any – again, it's Valentine's Day tomorrow. Yeah. You don't need to be thinking about this stuff. It's a day of love. You're going to have a great one. Thank you. You already you. had a great one. I already Do you had have, a great one. I don't think we asked you your Valentine's Day plans. Do you have a woman in your life? Well, my brother, Selden, is actually kind of throwing a wrench into everything because he's coming in tomorrow. Selfish asshole. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I don't know. We're going to have to – he's going to be the third wheel. We're going to do something, and he's going to be the, the the third wheel and hopefully find a place to live. And hopefully the couch gets clean today because it has the TT smell all over it. Mm -hmm. And the guys are probably there right now, and I'm worried they're going to go through everything. And I have a lot of stuff <laughs> hidden right now, so I hope they don't find any of it. What do you have, hidden coins? Yes, the coins. Okay. <laughs> there were so much money, especially yeah. if they're all still packaged together. They're right. all still packaged. I'm, I'm going to make the real money when I cut them all open yeah. and sell them individually. But you can't play with them. It takes the value down. Yeah. Yes, you have to be careful with the smudges. Uh, but yeah, that's life. Um, well, Ari, thanks so much for being on the podcast today. It was a real pleasure. Thank you so much for having me. It flew by. I want to apologize ahead of time for talking too much and taking it over. I tend to do that. And a lot of people in the comments are always like, Ari needs to shut up. And let everyone else talk. Say that. So sorry ahead of time. And also make sure to sign up for the Patreon for the William Montgomery show. Patreon. Yeah, we're support. starting a Patreon. It's going to help, uh, uh, the ads we're still gonna we're still gonna be doing the ads, but yes, the uh, the math on everything it doesn't they don't pay for just literally being here every week. So we're yeah. going to <laughs> so we have to deviate so we can keep, continue to financially pay for the place. Yeah. Uh, we're going to uh, start a Patreon, so please be on the lookout for that. Um, yeah, we don't uh, we do, yeah we don't make any money. We love doing it. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it would help us kind of keep uh, making content. Correct. For sure. Yeah. For sure. You and, guys... again, we're not lying. We're telling the truth. Right. Literally, I... the ads, it's been wonderful. But the amount of people that watch it, what, for whatever reason, the math doesn't work. This place costs more than we bring in. So we have to do something yeah, I to be able to financially keep doing it. You guys are pussyfooting around a little bit. I don't know if that's the right term. <laughs> but if you guys don't subscribe to the Patreon, the podcast will eventually cease to exist. There There's 10,000 no, yeah, listeners. It's going to be no Help podcast. out because I want to see it keep going. I want to come back one day, maybe they, a yeah, year from now, maybe two years from now. I want to be back on. And if you guys don't subscribe to the Patreon, not only will I not be back on, nobody will. They won't. Yeah. I so mean, uh, sorry to make it so like do or die, but it is. <laughs> it is. I'm about to raise prices on you guys too. So Yeah, no shit. Yeah. Well, you sent me the fucking email that we're going to have to figure out. You guys uh, but yeah. Going to jack up the prices. Yeah, Grant's doubling the price as soon as we drop the Patreon. Yeah, so <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to talk about that. Yeah, it's yeah. predatory. But. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's extraordinarily predatory. <laughs> Papa needs a cut. But uh, remember, if Papa you subscribe to the Patreon, 75% off caninecredit.com. Yeah, and yeah. we're going to get that in there somehow. Yeah. We're going to get on this website. website. Yes, we'll yes. I paid for a coupon code extension. It was 26 bucks. So I'm excited to get to use it. Cool. 100%. Uh, we also have a... Oh, someone wrote me a song. A song to go out on, I Let's, think. Play I the love it. Thing. Let's hear it. I don't think it should be copyrighted. You guys ready for this? <laughs> Would love to hear it. Hit that shit.
Damn, listen to that. That's the sound when he tells a joke. He's <laughs> good. That's the sound when he rips another. <laughs> it's these Swedish guys are from the Norway, I think. Are rock. you serious? Yeah. Rock again. Yeah. Rock I think we found a new intro or exit song or something. It's wonderful. Pretty sweet. It's heavy shit. I really like it. This is by Stato. (laughs) That's the sound when the joke is smart. I haven't That's listened to the whole thing yet. Whoa. Is that a fart? It's awesome. That's the sound when the joke is clever. From Norway. I love that. All the way from Norway with love. Do you remember what they're called? Stato? Stato. Stato. S T A D O. Shout out to Stada. Wow. All right, Grant, cut that shit. Pretty heavy. It's super heavy. I love that. It's awesome. Thank you. Damn, shout out to Stado. <laughs> Holy shit, that was wonderful. Heavy ass shit. Yeah, that got me fucking tingling. Love that, boys. Thank you. Mm. <laughs> I just hear you he- listening to that last night and then hearing that baby sound just yeah. getting you ba- snapping you back into reality. Oh. <laughs> just, oh, no. <laughs> it's back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was not good. But every day we just try to keep pushing forward. Yes, yes, sir. Happy Damn Valentine's. right. Happy Valentine's Day. And Ari, where can people find you? Other than we got your website. Where oh, can right. Find uh, my name. Well, my name's Ari Manis, as it probably says in the title. I have a website, arimanis.com. I'm on Instagram, YouTube. I'm everywhere. Wherever you guys are, I'm. I probably am there too. So find me, follow me. Hell Thanks yeah. for the support. God bless. Love it. God bless you. God bless you. Patreon. 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 Thanks for joining us for this week's episode of The William Montgomery Show. Send your questions, artwork, and manifestos to thewilliammontgomeryshow at gmail.com. Leave William a voicemail at 737-471-1098. And never miss an episode of The William Montgomery Show by subscribing to The William Montgomery Show channel on YouTube and anywhere podcasts are sold. Check out William online at william.f.montgomery1 on Instagram. For more William Montgomery, check out Kill Tony on YouTube and check him out live at the Comedy Mothership in Austin, Texas every Monday night. Find more of me, Casey Rocket, at patreon.com slash Casey Rocket. Follow me on Instagram at Casey Rocket. This episode of the William Montgomery Show was recorded at Record ATX Studios right here in the heart of Austin, Texas. The William Montgomery Show is produced by William Montgomery. The anthem is sung by William Montgomery. The drums are sung by William Montgomery. The words are sung by William Montgomery. The William Montgomery Show is a Fanny Co. production. Thanks for joining us. See you next time. Shh, the fuck said that? I'm trying to have fun tonight.